Hail Battle Brothers and welcome to yet another video. Oh yes, and yet another review video. We are continuing, my dear friends, with our Warhammer 40k journey. And this time we are talking about yet another Dark Angels novel, which is a part of the uh, Dark Angels omnibus or the Legends of the Dark Angels. And uh, I'm reviewing the Eye of Ezekiel. Ah yes, the chief librarian of the Dark Angels. Now, to preface this, once again, I shall be saying it in videos to come, my Warhammer 40k videos. Um, I got into Warhammer 40k about four months ago. Once again, I have to repeat, if you're here for the first time, lifelong uh, fantasy science fiction aficionado, focused on uh, old English literature and on the uh, fantasy writers of the 20th century at university published multiple things, I edit Tolkien encyclopedias in the Czech Republic, my own publications have been greatly inspired not only by old English uh, poetry like Beowulf but also by Professor Tolkien only got into Warhammer four months ago after postponing it for years. One of the best decisions I've ever made in my life as far as uh, literature aficionado, as far as a reader, uh, because the world building is something extraordinary. Now, apart from Tolkien, I say that, uh, I dare say that Warhammer 40k is the most elaborate, most interesting, grasping, fascinating world building I have ever encountered. Of course, multiplied by the fact that uh, it, basically it has been growing since the 80s, right? And uh, then, of course, uh, after the establishment of the Black Library, even more so, like hundreds at this point of stories written, whether we are talking about novels or novellas, short stories, audio books, audio dramas. And then of course, we have to take into consideration all the codexes, the supplements, so on and so forth. Now, uh, this is the fourth, I think, novel in this uh, omnibus. And uh, it's just so fascinating to be dis discovering new things every day. It's like a breath of fresh air, you know, after after years of just, you know, like being a tremendous like sci-fi and, and fantasy mania, I just finally discovering something that I knew absolutely nothing about and just, you know, plunging straight into it and me not liking lore videos, I just don't watch them. I, I just, I'm against them this being said, if you like law videos, feel free to watch them. It's okay. I just don't do that. I like to read books. And so this novel uh, about a character that I knew absolutely nothing about, the chief librarian of the Dark Angels, Ezekiel, the most powerful psyker that uh, was in the chapter since, you know, the times of Lionel Johnson. And um, apart from that, of course, this is, I think a part of the so-called uh, Space Marine Battles series um, that uh, was really... Th th these books are just battles described on like three, four hundred pages. But in the midst of it, we can find heartwarming, grasping and fascinating stories about uh, well-written characters and their character development. And very often, more so than not from my own experience so far. It's not about only the Astartes, but there's also always, um, well, in, in most cases uh, so far, um, a character that uh, is you know, the, the, uh, a member of the Astra Militarum uh, or just an, an ordinary fella, you know, just, just a man. And in this case, um, this is a man who uh, is called Labden and there will be spoilers from now on. And uh, th this story is basically about how Ezekiel got his augmented eye. And but and then at, at the end of the book, you actually find out that the character of Labdon, which is uh, an Astra Militarum soldier, um, who had an augmented eye throughout, you know, his entire uh, like existence in this in this novel, and who fought um, on this planet that was absolutely overwhelmed by like a, a, an, an army of orcs. It was described like, like there were millions of orcs 
just attacking this particular planet. And there's so uh, he also had like uh, like psych powers that he could see into the future for a little bit, not actively, but he had like premonitions, he had visions uh, from time to time, especially when something was about to happen. So that's how he survived for the longest time. Um, and so his eye was actually the eye that uh, Ezekiel ends up having because Labdon unfortunately perishes in that war, in that battle. And so they are on a, on a planet that uh, they rediscovered as they do, you know, uh, very, very often in uh, the world of Warhammer 40k, they rediscover a planet that uh, used to be, you know, uh, like a, a part of humanity, but they were separated. And then, of course, that, that was what the uh, Great Crusade was all about, right? Like pre Horus Heresy, uh, the, you know, the Emperor and uh, his Astartes and his Primarchs, just, you know, like looking for. Uh, you know, the remnants of humanity in the universe, uh, you know, like, and bringing them together under the new Imperium. And so they rediscovered this planet and they found out that there's like this, this awesome, uh, very advanced technology of uh, like guns, uh, turrets, uh, like automatic uh, las guns, like huge things that can uh, change the volume of their firing according to what they were firing at like they could take down an entire spacecraft but they could only focus on like one orc uh so and it was all like automatic automated and so um the uh, uh the astartes as well as uh the tech marines from mars they uh joined their forces and uh, they tried to salvage this particular technology. Well, the Tick Marines of Mars kind of, kind of lured the Dark Angels into it uh, due to a pact that they had, because they just wanted to usurp they or have this technology. You know, them being technological maniacs and just wanting to, you know, have like all the technology in the universe just for themselves. Uh, and so we read about. An immense, brutally huge battles or battle and a war where it is described how the, there were so many orcs in that battle, in that war on that planet, that when uh, the turrets were shooting at them, plus the Astartes and the legions of the Astro Militarum, the, the bodies, the corpses of the orcs were piling up so they can actually reach the battlements, the walls, and crawl. You know, the surviving orcs can crawl uh, over, like, the piled up bodies and reach the top of the battlements. That's how many orcs there were. Can you imagine that many orc corpses? Like, tens of meters high. It's just mental. And so... Uh, not only was this written, uh, like, in a fascinating, like, action-packed way, and so that, you know, you can read about the, you know, Astartes battling the Orgs and the Estra Militarum uh, involved as well. And there was, like, this, this, this awesome uh, passage with um, uh, an Orc leader, like, battling, uh, like, the most skilled Astartes hand-on-hand, and he just annihilated like two or three of them until in the end uh, was defeated by Ezekiel because for the duration of the book, Ezekiel didn't have his powers of foresight. He lost them. He was robbed of them by a demon in the prologue of the book. And so this book, besides being like a battle described in 350 pages or whatever it was, um, is a journey of Ezekiel, I'm sure that throughout this video I might have said Azrael. It's about Ezekiel, of course. If I have had a slip of the tongue, I'm sorry I'm not editing this out. Ezekiel. Um, so it is his journey towards first regaining his powers of foresight. Secondly, getting his augmented eye. 
which we find out that uh, actually are much older than uh, anybody knew and that actually are giving powers to whoever has the augmented eye in, you know, in, implanted. It's still a mystery to me who, what that eye still is. I might discover later on. And thirdly, his journey towards becoming the chief librarian of the Dark Angels. And so this is a, this is a lot of information. Now, if you want to know uh, about Dark Angels, if you are new into Warhammer 40k, if you want to get into one of the chapters, this omnibus is very good. Because not only uh, does it tell the story of Ezekiel, as I said, but the previous novels that I've already reviewed on this channel, should you wish to check them out, there are uh, uh, there uh, for you to check out. It tells story, you know, the uh, like about uh, Grandmaster Azrael and how he came up to be the Grandmaster of the Dark Angels. Uh, it's it's very good. And other than that, about you know multiple other characters and uh, uh, members of the Dark Angel chapter, like uh, different chapter masters and uh, like leaders of, of the different groups. And it's, it's, it's just very good, you know, Boreas um, and Astellan. I've all, you know, I have reviewed it all. So once again, this was very good. I have so far not been disappointed by any Warhammer 40k or 30k. I'm also reading a Horus Heresy book that I've read. Uh, I'm sure that there are books that are not as good as these, but I, so far I'm trying to stick to the older ones and, you know, tried and proved ones that uh, I kind of know are going to be good. And so, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. The next, next thing I'll be reviewing is the novella called Dark Vengeance by Caesar Dunn, which is the one I'm going to be reading now. So let me know in the comments down below what you think, and they'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, the Emperor protects.